DJ, put a nigga back to the record, baby, and give me this right now. Hey, 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 This is so cool! It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I, I, I didn't believe you the first time, John. Ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's it like, seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating. Uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. It's definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, Perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. As you can imagine, everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar, so we'll have our work cut out for us. Yes, a, a return to the scene of the crime, as it were. What crime would that be? Uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little more thoroughly this time. I admit that I may have been too enthusiastic, and that it may, may have led to blind spots. That's why I've brought young Cabot Finch along with us. So, uh, what kind of science are you studying, Cabot? Uh, business. Business? Oh, great. The last thing we need more of. After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then, we can restore the core facilities and get a ranger outpost up and running. We? Well... You, actually, Dr. Grant, and Dr. Sattler, and Dr. Malcolm. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. <laughs> you really are new to this, aren't you, Finch? Are you nervous to be back, Dr. Grant? You know, the last time I was here, I left in kind of a hurry. And I want to make absolutely sure what happened isn't repeated ever again, so I've returned. Reluctantly. On the positive side of the ledger, it's a chance to work with living dinosaurs. Does that paint a clearer picture for you? Completely, Dr. Grant. And Mr. Hammond seems pretty confident we can get everything working as designed. And intended. Confidence is not something John Hammond lacks. 
competence, however. It is something I pride myself in, Dr. Grant. We'll need to repair the geothermal power station to start. Okay, once that is done, we can focus on the visitor center. Repaired and powered, it should give us a solid base of operations. Hey, I can save everybody a, a whole lot of time and just explain what happens eventually. And, uh, and that eventually comes much sooner than anybody anticipates. Well, you know, except me. You know, I was reluctant to come back here for, for obvious reasons, but then I realized that I was even more reluctant to stay away because nature would take its course as it always does. I felt the same. Still, there's no denying this is the single most important place on Earth right now. Perhaps ever. Perhaps, but uh, what of Dr. Grant? He and I are a team. Through thick and thin, you know? Yes. 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 Still, um, chaos, Dr. Sattler. Um, chaos has me contemplating whether we can actually make things better or just delay the inevitable. It all comes down to responsibility. The last time we were here, we were Hammond's guests. This time, we're more like partners. Now we have the knowledge and the means to make a change. Ambitious, Dr. Sattler, that's ambitious, but uh, you know, I do like the uh, sentiment. Good, I'll need a research module added to the visitor center. Then we can get a look at the different fencing available. Let's add an emergency bunker to that list as well. I mean, you know, we've both experienced how effective fences have been in the past. Mr. Hammond is very concerned. We're getting reports of staff injuries? Velociraptors. Okay, we have to get them enclosed in the raptor pen. Aren't you an expert on raptors, Dr. Grant? Uh, I think that it'd be fair to say that uh, raptors and Dr. Grant have uh, history. Devoting your life to the study of an animal means accepting the harsh truth that it would try to kill you if you ever came face to face with it. You did come face to face with it. Which was impossible before Jurassic Park. So that had to count for something. It did. It counted for a lot of sleepless nights. So our goal now is get everything under control, right? Control? No. No, no, Finch. The best you can hope for on Isla Nublar is uh, uh, managed chaos, okay? And that is why you are here, Dr. Malcolm. So, not my sparkling personality, then? We just need Jurassic Park manageable, chaos and all. Then we can think about larger plans. John, Alan and I still really aren't comfortable opening the park to tourists. That is kind of an understatement. I understand your sentiment and your concerns, but all in due course. 
And I do seem to remember seeing the public at your deed site in the Badlands. Charged them, didn't you? Those donations help fund our research. As did I. For which we are grateful. But it's really no different than what we are doing here at Jurassic Park, Dr. Sattler. Just on an admittedly much grander scale. And with more theatrics and buttered popcorn. We all know your vision, John. But the execution? It really needs work. That is why you are all here. To make sure this dream, my dream, doesn't die. And there is one other major difference between us, John. In Montana, Ellie and I were pulling dinosaur fossils out of the ground. And here, it's the dinosaurs that are trying to put us into the ground. <laughs> and isn't that exciting? Finch, you really need to learn when to stop talking. still going to take a while to properly organize and restore the scientific data. Dr. Wu left behind a ton of material. After Nedry's sabotage, it's a miracle we have anything to work with. True. But between the storm, the dinosaurs, and whatever Nedry did to the computers, the records and documentation are a mess. But you think it can be done? If we can make dinosaurs, then we should be able to sort paperwork and organize computer files. Can we make dinosaurs? Or are these just impressive replicas? Oh, they're alive, Alan. And I want them to be as scientifically accurate as possible. Hammond scientists made their mistake by substituting amphibian DNA. And hiring wrong people. But now Hammond has the right ones. Us. I don't know what he sees in that Cabot kid. People say that to me about you. Oh, do they, huh? People. People like Dr. Rockstar. pictures of the dinosaurs. I'll get together a list of specific photos that I need. You never thought I'd be able to take photos of dinosaurs before. That's a first. Ooh, and Alan, the lens cap, I want actual images. I'll remember this time. adding this one to my collection. All life has two instinctual impulses that no amount of tinkering or engineering, biological or otherwise, can ever hope to overcome. One, survival. Two, reproduction. With man, with man, uh, you can add a third domination man oh boy all right anyway you're not wrong which is even more reason we'll need to research a drug to act as a countermeasure to the dinosaurs breeding well they've had a free run of the island for a while so we've got to assume that they've been mating it would be a recurrence plot which is what exactly although the world is in a constant state of chaos certain events can be predicted because they happen repeatedly, regardless of the initial conditions. And an organism trying to perpetuate its DNA would be one of those. Or maybe it's the tropical island paradise setting. You know, works for, uh, works for newlyweds. You know, it could also be the food. Yeah, perhaps, but considering what some of the dinosaurs have consumed, let's hope not. I think we've developed a drug that should inhibit breeding. Dr. Malcolm, can you get a team together to administer it? Well, a ranger team can shoot them with darts while I watch safely and securely from a distance. 
Do, do these ranger teams ever do ride-alongs? You know, for you, Finch, I, I believe they'd make an exception. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, I, I just have to. Gotta raise the volume. Okay, it's good. That would be more challenging. Again, Hammond. No, I won't allow it. You may not have that choice, John. Finish. I need to know. Do you have a report? Looks like the computer systems are under attack. John, we're being hacked. Dr. Malcolm is correct. The corrupted code has also affected the power grid. No, no, no. Don't say the gates are open. I won't. But they are. Oh. Protection needs to be our top priority. For the dinosaurs and the staff. I'm staff, right? Let's get the power grid back. Oh, that should yes. help with staff safety. And I am staff, obviously. <laughs> I've got programmers hardening oh the code God. as Your we speak. Your staff, Finch, tell me. You'll help us get the personnel secured. Yes, the personnel, the staff, of which I am unquestionably <laughs> one. Oh my God, it just makes me laugh. Uh, I would say replay value for this game. Absolutely. Well, to me personally, actually, the only one out of the best. I also got Claire's Sanctuary, so I'll do that maybe sooner. Yeah, but, um, I also got all the other ones. Then I got.
got like this 50, um, this fifty dollar video. Cause I just wasted all the things. And uh, yeah, I just just uh, want to get it. I didn't get to get the uh, expansion pack of the Doctor Who expansion pack. I know it has troll down, but uh, not really interesting. I'm sure it's war and all that stuff, but uh, not really. This fence hasn't been affected by the power grid for some reason. Uh, no dinosaurs. Resolved. We've identified some residual flaws in the park operations software. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wonder how they got missed the first time around. Oh. You, you've plugged the holes though, right? There's some new counter espionage software that just needs final testing. Keep people out of our business. Mr. Hammond would also like to make sure the dinosaurs are secure and comfortable. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Right. Right. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's the most common and least true words spoken at uh, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Okay. Uh, dinosaurs, no dinosaurs. Let's just see these creatures. Oh my god. Just imagine, this is a beautiful shot. Well, I think, uh... Yeah, I think it's also... be my TV screen. Looks like it. Oh, this is my TV screen. This thing would be a screen. Yeah. Oh, it's work. That's full correction system. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's... The way it popped up, I guess. That's full correction. Okay, it's time I'm to satisfied go. with the latest reports on park security. Now we can move on to the next great challenge, the dinosaurs. Yes. For the that, dinosaurs. we'll have to journey to the dinosaurs. companion island, Isla Sorna. Yes, you're gonna go to the companion island, Isla Sorna. Even though it's super early in the morning for me, because uh, I'm in America. <laughs> Research center upgrade stack across all your all your islands. I mean, what do you think about that? I do know, but <laughs> Triceratops We call it Site B. Originally, uh -huh. a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Yeah. Spared no okay. expense. Didn't want to keep all your eggs in one incubator, huh, John? Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And yes. another way, John? Yeah, it's also about the diversity of the environment. In other words, you weren't sure they'd survive on um, Isla Bilbar. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species he studied on the Galapagos Islands, isolated. It also has the benefit of keeping our work away from prying eyes. Yeah, and making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm. Okay, it's time. Jurassic Park era unlocked. Yes, thank you very much. For now, we focus on the job at hand. Cabot. Yes, sir, Mr. Hammond. So, I think we'll need a new base of operations. Uh, Ranger outpost and visitor center, maybe? Would make a good headquarters. New visitor center. Did 
Did you two know about this island? Of course not. We're in the dark as much as you are, Dr. Malcolm. Who knows? Maybe it's just our inferior brains that can't cope with chaos. Hmm. Well, uncertainty, you know, can be a guiding light. Chaos is about the unexpected, and uh, that's, what, uh, that's what I'm here for. Well, I'm here because of the dinosaurs. And because of the lovely Dr. Sattler, if I'm not mistaken. That's really not any business of yours. How much is this guy? How is this Alan, we need to test our breeding countermeasure on Isla Sorna's wild dinosaur population. Okay, Allie. I've identified a suitable group of dinosaurs. Let's isolate them from the rest to perform tests. Yes, isolate. Isolate dinosaurs. Ah, the problems with Visa sort of. Dr. Yamoka is just the best part about it. Come on, you faggy. Oh, there you go. We're administering the breeding countermeasure through the feeders. This is a huge step forward from the previous injection method. And Mr. Hammond wants to make sure this works. We'll observe the affected dinosaurs until we can confirm the effectiveness of the treatment. If this works, we won't have to trank the dinosaurs as much. That'll help with their anxiety as well. A prehistoric animal has to be confused when it's being chased by a vehicle. I mean, what point of reference could it possibly have? I really hadn't thought about it that way before. They're as afraid of us as we are of them. If... if I were afraid. Fear is a survival instinct, Captain. Any animal without it won't be around long. <laughs> then I should be around forever. <laughs> Okay. What? Oh, frick. Get your little bikini butt out of here. Freaking little bikini butt out of here. Go looking straight instead of swinging. This freaking stick of scores. Right there, 
right there. Oh, oh, frick. Frick, these guys are gonna get mad right away. No, 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 no. No, come on. Oh, freaking god. Freaking scared me. Go feed on a feeder over here. No, this feeder. No, this feeder. No, that feeder. Ranger team. So another Ranger team is gonna go. Where's the Mexican music? Where's the poker rig? You feed the music or shoot <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just waiting around. Look at that fence design. That's what I'm getting. That's why. This is one of the reasons why I want to see. I know this is not going to carry on into the. Uh, the JP, the JW. This is absolutely beautiful. The barbed wire in the bottom, and like, you feel sort of like this is a Clearly, this is made for a dance. You guys happy? Ah, the 
should all work out according to plan. Yeah, let's just squeeze an already confused and stressed resurrected dinosaur into a small enclosure and, uh, you know, hope for the best. An animal that in its time could freely roam the earth. Or maybe, maybe that's not such a, a good idea. I guess I have to uh, increase the forest value. There you go. And decrease. We should observe the dinosaurs and look for behavioral changes. Photographic evidence oh, should do. Think you're I'll get together a list. Almost fine art. <laughs> Something's not right. There's an understatement. What do you mean? The animals here, they aren't responding like they did on Isla Nublar. I haven't seen any of the dinosaurs exhibiting symptoms. The two are not mutually exclusive, Dr. Grant. I think Dr. Malcolm... Ian, please. I think Dr. Malcolm okay. is correct. But we need to be sure. Uh, yes. In their current state, the dinosaurs aren't eating or drinking. We need to identify the problem. Step one, slow them down, hit them with the trank dart. Warning, Ranger Aww. vehicle under attack. these dinosaurs are coming back all over the place. It looks like these animals, they've been manipulated. Um, hmm. theories? I have plenty. Which one do you like the most? Hammond told us there was another company trying to steal InGen's research. Biosyn. Right. Yes. They got to Nedry. John believes it was Nedry's greed and Biosyn's money that became the catalyst for what happened to all of us Biosyn. the first time around. Hmm. And you think they're at it again? Or yes. Maybe they never left. Maybe they never left, okay. Let's combat this first, then figure out who's to blame. We'll need to research and use a DNA sequencer to neutralize the effects of the faulty genome. The science needs to be right. Or the dinosaurs will be wrong. Dr. Grant, as long as we continue to interfere, the dinosaurs, uh, the dinosaurs will always be wrong.
<laughs> the old days where I did the live stream. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but those, those are gone. So. We've developed a dart-based solution to the symptoms. The causes, however, they run right to the core of these dinosaurs, to their DNA. This will require a recompiled genome and new incubations. So I hear we've had a spot of good news. Okay. We're ready to proceed with ink. I'll be right back, guys. Just gotta start a new clip. Um, I kind of want to like see like I want to ride the helipad over the mountains and then you know I could have been a feature. Um, but no, it's not a feature. But it's fine though. Oh, uh, we don't need it anyways. <laughs> Just that how you lose this park, or that you lose this, so that you won't return to this anyway. It's kind of sad. And looking at this, uh, new Isla Sorna. Uh, I mean, it's really cool. I think it's one of the this maps ever like I think you can make a park tour going through this route you can see every step of the way what you know what we'll, we'll, we'll discard that do we have research speed on incubation speed so let's just get the success rate up this is big keeps on failing at 70%. Mementosaurus. There it is. money because of this. I think straight away, uh, when you make a park on Angel Nublar, uh, you're gonna get like about two or three stars because of the uh, outskirts of the um, the part the facility. What I mean is the uh, you know the, the you know where the visitor center is and all that stuff. The the outside part where the uh, brachiosaurus and all that stuff is. I kind of want to add more trees to this, make it feel more natural. Can't wait to ride one of these tours, <laughs> like the tour vehicles. Tour vehicles. We got most of them gone. We just need one more. So let's just explore the park with the ranger team. Hardings have the tag on before they leave. No, the Hardings still have the tag. Huh. It's all in Jurassic World the game, but not Jurassic World the game. Jurassic Park the game. They still have the tag up there. Uh, but they do have a tag down here for their ways this oh my god 
It's kind of like the, it's like, it's like a pixelated, uh, it's kind of pixelated even Malcolm. <laughs> what the frick is that? What the frick did they made? These guys are monsters. Straight monsters. <laughs> I wonder why you can't run over your jeep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this jeep feels smart. Uh, but this, this part, uh, I think this is interesting. It'd be interesting if the, uh, if this piece of land can go down, down, and go more, a little bit more down here. You have a little, so you have a little bit more buildable areas, but they're not that big, you know? But you know, it's just them. No, I'm not gonna complain. It's Frontiers. Is is it just Frontiers disposition? Yeah. Plus early in the day. Early, early. Good morning. Playing this DLC. This so long, actually. I feel like I need to save a clip again. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, just had to save the video clip so I don't lose it. <laughs> like, so for some reason, you can't get like full four hours of this campaign. And then, yeah, uh, we're making some progress though. I'm not gonna lie, we're making progress. And here's the new uh, icons. Look good. Actually, some of them are still the same, the others aren't. The one dinosaur I'm really looking forward to is the raptor. Like I said, so yeah. I wonder why they put the uh, interface blue. I would like it to be red. There's a new Cabot Finch. Actually, I checked both of the Cabot Finch's voices. And actually, I would prefer this one. The newer Cabot Finch, uh, he, he actually, he has a higher pitch than the one you see in the present. I remember, like, the, he has higher, like, higher, it's kind of crazy how the creatures themselves uh, have higher have higher what should we call it? Not the creatures, <laughs> uh, but like you know, cabbage fish has um, higher. I don't know. Yeah, it actually does. Uh. Alright. I'll wait until that completes itself. For right now, let's, let's see what these guys are doing. Oh, no. Oh. Collecting assets. No. Get them. <laughs> I don't know where to tell you that. Still tells you the star rating. It's kinda weird. Oh no, it's getting transported. <laughs> I'm just waiting until this thing finishes so I can continue with the campaign. Things work, okay. Um let's Let's see the med magic sources. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's one of the nice magic sources I've ever seen. Oh, that is nice. Oh my god, they look so pretty. Got the galleys. I should go with never galleys and not even a sort of. Uh, magic sources. And then we got. Galleys, all that stuff. Oh yeah. Let's get some 
more trees, make it look nice, you know, and clothes. Alright. Let's get. Still fossil that's running it. Okay, there's still fossil. Uh, so let's just wait until that fossil is done. It's gonna take a while. Um, it's just so stout, you know. I uh, just gotta say, just what is that? so down there. I kinda wanna decorate. Let's put helipad. Uh, okay, people are gonna have trouble with this, are they? Are people have trouble with this? Helipad over there, yeah. Helipad over there. It comes out exactly. Oh no! I lost progress on them. Oh. Good thing these signs actually are, uh... It's not gaming beaver to try to do his own version of the, uh... Landing. And then... Visitor Center... Over... There! This is what it's out. There's... Ah! Oh. Frick! Mm. What I hate about sides. <laughs> okay. This. Okay. You can kind of see the arrow going in that direction. Vision. It's Falk. Oh my god, I've been doing this freaking so long. So long. What? That's dead hog. Could be the party we had. Actually, yeah, it does. Like, that's a, it's one of those features. It, uh, Face is the same way the other way does. That's cool because it was kind of, I was thinking, you know, it would face the same way because the two of them face different ways. I had thought that. These guys' ratings still really matter, so we'll just make it right at the back. Alright, these guys are that hard to. Should we enclose this area? I don't want to enclose this area. Well, if we can, because I can see myself not enclosing this area. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think we need to get to a close this area. It's kind of how some of these features uh, from the campaign are in. Sandbox or challenge. It's kind of sad. I heard about that. About the raptor pig not being available to put in. So yeah. I was like. And then I checked. And then you saw me. 